Hello again, Sebastian Fortune here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, before I even get into this, I'm going to go ahead and say um, the nature of the um, the YouTube algorithm is such that uh, in order for videos to become popular or get views, you have to like uh, or maybe not even not like or something the video so please like if you like the content of course uh, share and subscribe to my channel very very much appreciated I'm trying to get it to perhaps maybe a thousand subscribers uh, by June maybe anyway so um this smart break module I purchased it a while ago and I never really did anything with it I looked on YouTube to see if I could find videos on um, how to actually install this thing and I couldn't find anything. I saw videos, well, I couldn't find anything specific to my can -Am. I, f I saw videos for motorcycles and so forth. But anyway, what this does is, um, uh, as you guys know, if you have you, you own a can -Am, it has a um, massive engine braking. Uh, what that means is when you release the throttle, um, it slows the bike down. So even if you might not be intending to, to stop or step on the brakes, you're slowing down. If someone is following you closely, there's a chance that they might not see your intention because when you release the throttle and the engine braking kicks, the engine braking kicks in, then it slows the bike down. And you know, you could probably get caught out because someone didn't see a brake light or some indication that your intention is to stop or slow down. So Anyway, so this thing right here is supposed to be an additional safety feature where whenever you release the throttle, it sends the change in speed and automatically pop up, pop on the brake light or flickers the brake light, you know, like flashes the brake light. And what it does is dependent upon um, this, this, this little gadget here and how you uh, set it up in a bike. So essentially it comes with a wiring diagram well, you know, a layout. And the layout has, you know, on the actual um, cable itself, there are three different connectors. The one that has the two wires, that's the power, as you can see here in the, um, in the layout, uh, red and violet. The gray is the signal, which is the actual brake connection itself. And of course, the black is the, the ground. And they have some of the motorcycles and the, the colors that are specific to each of these motorcycles here and unfortunately the Can-Am is not listed here so I've been trying to figure out exactly how do I marry uh, this connector this system this smart brake module to my my Can-Am and of course here we have also uh, the wiring the power uh, wire the signal wire that goes to the brake light wire the ground and so forth there are also the, these connectors came with the, um, the product. My hands are a little bit sweaty. It's warm in here today and I don't have the AC going. But anyway, these connector comes with the, um, with the package. And what it does is once you locate the wire in the Can-Am, these crimp down onto the wire itself, establishing a connection to the wire without you having to strip it. And then this right here connects into the opposite end of this so you could make the connection. And this device, you find one of the, um, as level a place as you possibly can within the Can-Am itself and you use uh, double-sided tape or Velcro to um, ad adhere it to where wherever it is that you, um, you choose to attach it. And now whether it flashes or just simply come on like a steady brake light uh, is determined by how you place this. So if you place this and the arrow needs to be pointing towards the front of the car, towards the front of the Can-Am. And if you place it with the with this um, uh, riding up, that means that the light will come on solid. If you place it with the riding facing down, the light will flash, um, flash several times to indicate that you um, you know you release the throttle, you know uh, you're slowing down, so that whoever is behind you can um, basically understand uh, your intent. So I've been. Um, trying to figure out exactly where I uh, connect this on my Can-Am. So let me show you what I've seen. I haven't tried it yet, but I will, and hopefully it works, but let me show you. Um, let me take you over here to my computer. 
So here I am again, and this is the monitor, my computer screen. What I did was I purchased the Canon 2020 RT service manual. And in the RT service manual, I was trying to find the, um, the pieces that I think I need, the connector. So I brought up the wiring diagram and it shows here that this is the, um, the main connector that I see underneath the seat, uh, not the seat, I'm sorry. Um, well, actually it is the back seat. This is the main connector. And we have the brake light, the wire that goes towards the brake light. We have the voltage and we have the ground. So I am gonna attach um, the three connectors that came with my brake system uh, to these respective wires, test it, and make sure that it works, and then I'll uh, put the cannon back together. So this is basically a guesswork for me. I haven't seen any videos on the internet showing how to install this, this, this device. I have seen a video on Sling Mod but it's relating to um, the flashing of the brake lights when you apply the brake. That is quite simple to apply. And when I saw that video recently, I was inclined to just go ahead and get rid of this thing right here and just get the flashing brake. But the flashing brake is when you actually apply the brakes in the, in the stopping event. This here, this particular device is for times when you're not stopping, but simply, you know, release the throttle a little bit it's, just, it's there as a safety mechanism to let somebody behind you know what your intentions are. So uh, let's go take a look at the wiring on the actual Can-Am itself. Yeah, so, so back to the computer. Before I actually attach it, notice the WH is for white, the uh, OG here is for orange, and then of course the BK is for black. And if you notice the corresponding uh, designation, you know, ground, 12 volt, and the brake light itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the attachment and let's see what happens. All right, so it looks like I found uh, the correct wires. Um, I haven't, um, I crimped the, uh, the black, the gray, I'm sorry, the black, the white, and the orange. The orange is the power, um, the black is the ground, and the white is the actual brake signal. If you notice, the brake lights is blinking right now, right? And the reason why it's blinking is because I have the, um, the little box is face down, right? So remember I said uh, when it's face down, it's gonna, when you uh, release the throttle, it's gonna blink, it's gonna flash. If I flip the box upside, the other way around, let's get it to stay this way. So if I flip the box right side up, if I flip it right side up, uh, it says, if you notice now, the brake light is on, but it's steady. It's not blinking anymore. So it works. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together. And yeah, so the most important thing is this, um, this wire and harness right here, you tap into the orange, the white, and the black. The black is ground, the white is brake, or the control, and the orange is the, uh, is the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and then move on to the next thing. Well, actually, before I move on, I have to find a place to securely place this and Velcro it down. So I'll find a very, very flat surface in here somewhere, perhaps under the seat. Use some Velcro to attach this. I use some Velcro to attach this uh, so that it doesn't move. Again, I'm gonna run with the blinking, so I'm gonna flip it upside down for my uh, use case. And then once it's ready and put back together, I'm gonna go for a ride, test it, make sure it's doing good. Yes, yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Um, that was installing the smart brake module. So, um, underneath the seat. So what I did was I removed the, um, my trunk, um, the uh, luggage rack on the back. I removed the uh, passenger seat. Underneath the passenger seat, there's a wiring harness. In the wiring harness, there is a whole bunch of wire 
that um, is there for um, a lot of the lighting and other accessories that happen on the back of the Canon. Uh, stuff like the heated grips, the heated seats, the uh, indicator light, the brake light, the, um, the cargo um, uh, light. If you have a, a hitch that you put back that tow a trailer, that is also um, provided light to that wiring harness. So in that wiring harness is where I tapped into to get power for um, this smart brake module. The uh, power was the orange cable, was the 12 volt power. The black cable was ground and the white cable was the actual lead that runs to the brake. So um, I now gonna find a place to uh, make sure I Velcro uh, the module down and put the cannon back together. Thank you guys for, um, for tuning into my channel. I have other things coming. Please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thank you.